This week in StarCap, security expert warns about going live. Scammers turn to success perfume. Joe promises unforgettable freedom street. Dad fights to save daughter in U.S. hospital. And in the Dear Pastor review, girlfriend's daughter wants to sleep with me. Starfam, I'm Tiffany and welcome to StarCap, a recap of the big stories that caught your attention this week. Be careful of what you share on the internet, Starfam, because going live on social media might just be the most dangerous thing you're doing right now. Security consultant Robert Finzi Smith sounds the alarm on how this popular trend could turn your life into a crime scene. He explains that oversharing online can make users vulnerable to criminals and unwanted encounters, as it reveals too much about their whereabouts. Even worse, broadcasting from public places can expose others to danger and has resulted in some marriages and relationships being destroyed. Finzi Smith stresses that this level of exposure can have dangerous and even life-threatening consequences. Guard rings and no success perfume? Success perfume is on the market and it's a hit with teenage males who think it can give them luck with getting money. A corporate era drugstore clerk spilled the tea saying these wannabe scammers are snapping up bottles like crazy, pairing them with incense and colorful candles. At $2,200 a pop, they are convinced it's working magic for them. Parents are also jumping on the bandwagon, adding it to their kids' back-to-school shopping lists. They hope it will boost their children's focus in class. It's not magic, the clerk joked, but hey, it might just keep bad vibes at bay. Jamaica and everybody that says World Pass is in a frenzy for Freedom Street. Since Vibes Cartel released its concert name and date, Freedom Street Concert is shaping up to be the event of the decade. With fans joking about selling kidneys to afford tickets, promoter Joe Bogdanovich promises the world boss will be in tip-top shape for this historic show at the National Stadium. Bogdanovich hinted they might even add another night due to the massive demand. Cartel himself is certain that it agosselaf to the point that he's jokingly telling fans to sell their houses, cars, and organs. Tickets drop on August 31st at 3 a.m. It's clear that this concert will be worth every penny or kidney. Richard Ebanks faces a desperate wait as he remains unable to join his critically ill daughter, Amber, in New York due to visa issues. According to recent court ruling, Ambo, who was declared brain dead nearly two weeks ago, has only 10 days before life support might be removed. Her family is working to transfer her to another facility, New Beginnings, in Long Island, but the process is complicated and time sensitive. Despite the setbacks, including a refused visa and documentation delays, the family is optimistic. I really hope that he gets to see his daughter soon. And in the Dear Pastor this week, girlfriend's daughter wants to sleep with me. In a recent plea for advice from Pastor, a 41-year-old divorced man shared a troubling situation involving his girlfriend's 20-year-old daughter. The man, who has been living with his girlfriend for six months, described unsettling behavior from the young woman, including provocative advances and the wearing of only G-strings. The daughter, who the man says is half Puerto Rican, has left the band feeling uncomfortable and embarrassed. The man sought advice from his eldest brother, who encouraged him to pursue the advances. The brother's advice to knock it, rather than address the issue with the girlfriend or her daughter, has left the man conflicted. In response, Pastor advised the man to resist any temptation and suggested discussing the issue directly with the girlfriend. Hmm, it sounds like this star reader might have considered his brother's advice. But what do you think this star reader should do? Suggest that his girlfriend evict her own daughter or just take a piece? That's it for this week's Starcap. 
Remember to follow us on Facebook and Instagram at The Jamaica Star and on X and TikTok at Jamaica Star. I'm Tiffany. Until next time, keep reading The Star, The People Paper. Thank you.